Hey everybody, this is Klaus from Plant Based News and in this video I speak of Rich Roll, who's the host of the Rich Roll podcast and has got an amazing social media page which I'll link down below. In 2018, he was heralded as the world's fittest vegan by Men's Health, but despite this, he wasn't featured in the recent Game Changers documentary, which is all about plant-based nutrition and athleticism. And I wanted to ask him why he thought he wasn't included. Let me know your thoughts and I really, really hope you enjoy this video. let's talk about the game changers this came out several months ago i haven't had a chance partly due to covid19 haven't had a chance to speak to you about this um, what do you think about the the game changers reception and how do you think it's sort of influencing the world of athleticism yeah i mean i think that the game changers documentary is has had a massive impact culturally it literally just put to bed the argument that you can't excel as an athlete on a plant-based diet uh, you know just end of discussion completely and I don't know how many people have seen that documentary, but it's a lot, millions and millions of people. And the ripple effect of that is, you know, hundreds of podcast conversations, hundreds of YouTube videos, like the spread of this idea that you can be plant-based and excel and that there are people killing it in every discipline, not just endurance athletes, skinny runner guys like myself, but, you know, power lifters like Patrick Baboumian, uh, bodybuilders like Nimai Delgado, uh, MMA fighters, you know, very um, skill, like agility, strength and power athletes are recognizing, you know, the power of eating a plant based diet in terms of how it um, it helps with recovery. It's like a, an insurance policy for longevity. You're seeing a lot of athletes kind of step into it in the later stages of their career to perpetuate and elongate their careers. And this is not going away because everybody who does it knows that it works. They stick with it and it's only going to build and continue. How much resistance to the game changes have you noticed? I don't pay any attention to that stuff. I've been doing this for 13 years and I made a promise to myself when I went plant based that if it for some reason stopped working or I wasn't feeling good or my blood markers were off, that I would not be overly dogmatic and that I would redress it. And if that required that I needed to return to eating some kind of animal products, that I would do that. But here we are 13 years later, <laughs> that's not the case. I'm still able to go out and kill it and run for hours and hours and ride my bike, which is what I've been doing throughout this pandemic. I feel good, I'm 53 years old and I've been able to maintain my weight and, you know, remain active and engaged and still compete um, at a pretty high level for my age. And honestly, that's all I need to know. So I don't get caught up in reading a bunch of rebuttals or hearing what the press has to say about it because I have my own experience and that's the most um, informative piece of information that, that I need for myself. And what do you think the strategy was behind not including someone like yourself in the Game Changers documentary? I mean, you'd have to ask the filmmakers, honestly, like it's an amazing movie. I support it 110 percent and the filmmakers, you know, decided to highlight the, the people that they highlighted. And I'm here to celebrate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess maybe it just comes down to the fact kind of the answer you gave to me in 2018 when I interviewed you um, at your place. You said because I, I brought up the fact that you're heralded by men's health as the world's fittest vegan, which you kind of appreciated but laughed at because as you said at the time in 2018 a couple of years ago there are plenty of athletes that are like you know in their prime at the moment in in, in professionals basketball f1 um tennis you name it that actually you know seriously seriously fit and uh maybe the 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 documentary filmmakers um james wilkes and and joseph pace just wanted to highlight those people yeah, I mean, listen, you know, I'm older. I've never won a race. I'm not a world champion. I'm not an Olympian. I was never a professional athlete. Um, I've done some interesting things, but there are a lot of people doing interesting things. And I think the people that the filmmakers chose to highlight in the movie illustrate the point that they're trying to make in a beautiful way. 100%. And what do you think uh, of the difference in terms of impact between what the health, uh, which you featured in, which came out, I think, in 2017, and the game changes? I think that goes back to what I was talking about earlier in that everybody has their entry point. If you're, you know, overweight and diabetic, 
and you're a 60 year old female, what the health probably is going to speak to you in a way that the game changers isn't. But if you're a 25 year old um, male who's going to Gold's Gym every day, eating your your chicken and your steak, then game changers is probably going to speak to you. So they're just different on ramps for different audiences and both powerful in their own regard. And I think both, you know, have earned their spot as very powerful pieces of media in advancing the cause of being plant-based for personal health, for the planet, and for reasons that have to do with compassion for the animals.